Well, good morning. Welcome to the Jim of All Trades channel. Glad you're here. I'm Jim, and uh, I'm a Forex trader and a crypto trader, and I'm uh, just here to kind of show you the charts uh, for Litecoin and Bitcoin every day and uh, give you daily calls about what the wave action might do and uh, help you learn how to trade and keep good psychology and everything that goes with the uh, trading uh, cryptocurrency. So uh, glad you stopped by. I hope you enjoy the channel. If you do, just uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, show me some love there. Uh, leave, a, leave a like or uh, and definitely subscribe. I, I give a video every day. Um, uh, updating you on where the uh, what the wave action is doing so you can make better uh, better decisions with uh, your investments but uh, don't forget this isn't financial advice this is just my view of the market and if it helps you make decisions I'm, I'm really glad for that uh, I want to invite you to the Litecoin swing trading community here on Facebook this is uh, my group where uh, we uh, <coughs> we just have a uh, about 464 uh, people who are just uh, learning how to trade learning how to uh, chart and uh, uh, just enjoying a community of uh, of traders of all skill levels. This is a, a very kind environment in which uh, it's designed to, uh, for beginners as well as uh, uh, seasoned traders. So I uh, want to invite you along. So come on in and uh, let's jump into the charts this morning. We're, we're looking at Litecoin and Bitcoin this morning. I've been kind of following uh, Litecoin on the one minute chart here. Um, <laughs> I don't recommend that you do that, but uh, I've been kind of doing it. All right, let's look at uh, our macro count here, and uh, let me just show you the difficulty that we've been having uh, here, understanding uh, and interpreting the uh, market uh, so far. So this wave was pretty difficult uh, to interpret. I've been interpreting that as a WXY expanded flat, uh, A, B, C, uh, but that's pretty much been invalidated because of the depth of this wave. So we're looking at uh, two options now, in my opinion. Uh, we're looking at uh, major downside with a 1, 2, major uh, a 3, 4, and a 5 downside. Uh, or uh, this, is a, uh, this is a WXY and this is an ABC. And we've tagged the, uh, the 1618 and we ha are making a reversal now. Uh, so... Uh, We've got two options. We've got major downside to come, uh, or we, we've had a reversal now. We've, we've kind of reversed into uh, five waves to the upside, and we're going to see a pullback and then uh, a three-wave coming uh, soon. Um, so let's look at that, and let's just see what's going on. Uh, whenever you're in doubt of, of the waves uh, and what's going on, uh, you just need to kind of look at what's being formed right now and just to kind of stay. You know, we do zoom out for sure, but uh, when I'm not sure what's going going on in, uh, in, in, the, in the zoomed out um, area, uh, I mean, then, then I want to. What I try to do is just look at the uh, the current wave and say, okay, what can I expect next? Uh, even though I don't know exactly where it fits in the grand scheme of things, uh, I know that there are patterns in Elliott wave uh, principles that that tell me that if I get five waves, for instance, uh, to the upside, I'm going to have a three wave pullback. And so let's look at uh, let's look at the waves uh, uh, on the micro level and just see if there see if we can figure out something to expect here. Um, I do want to just say that we did come down and uh, you know we have reached uh, an area where there there should be uh, there could be and should be a valid reversal here. Um, and so um, I wouldn't uh, doubt that this there's a possibility that we have bottomed uh, in this correction that this is that this whole thing was uh, five waves to the upside which you can see marked here five and then we've had our three waves to the downside that's our two wave as a fairly shallow two it's 50 percent um, pretty much 50 percent of the move that went down um, is shallow as far as twos go um, twos are often deeper to the 618s that's the ideal range um, to even the 786 uh, retracement level but uh, uh, yep yet yeah, this could be a, a reversal area we want to be careful here that we don't uh, miss this okay all right so let's uh, let's zoom in a little closer and just take a peek at what's going on here in Litecoin um, you can see that we 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 had a bottom here. It looks like we had a truncated fifth wave, and you can make the case here that this is a one-two. At least that's the case. I'm that's the best I can do on that. I, I it, it looks like we got a double bot a double bottom, and then we got a one, two, three, four, five. We've got a clear five waves to the upside. Okay, um, so five waves looks to be complete. Um, you can see the uh, the symmetry here. We we uh, went up to the three uh, six one eight for the third wave, and then we have uh, uh, just a just a, a five wave um, a five wave fifth um, going to the upside. The, the problem uh, the problem here is that uh, we really didn't make a higher high. Uh, we just made a double top. 
uh, here, and that was kind of frustrating. I was hoping to, I was hoping to get up here to about 97, uh, but you can see this uh, structure point right here uh, provided a lot of resistance um, for. Um, I don't believe in resistance, but that's what we call it at least. Uh, I'll say that in another video in our tutorial coming up. Uh, but uh, yeah, so uh, it provided a place uh, that traders uh, looked at, uh, and it, there was a lot of um, a lot of downside there. So I guess it is resistance in that sense. So um, yeah, I think we're five waves are finished. We should expect a three wave pullback, and it's already started. Uh, we've already we've already got uh, that that three wave pullback has already already begun. Um, let's look. Let's zoom in on the current wave and uh, see what we can see. So this is our top. This is a one, two, three, four, five uh, to the upside. Fifth wave is complete, um, and now we want to look for a five. We want to. Uh, we're basically going to have a five, three, and a five. Um, so um, I should expect here. Let's go down to even the five minute chart so you can see the waves delineated. It looks like we have a one, two, three. This looks like the four wave, and we're currently making the fifth wave of A, the fifth wave of A. And so if we're looking for three waves to the downside, and that's what I'm looking for, I'm looking for A to come down here, B to come back about 50% at least, and then a, a third wave there. Let's uh, throw the fibs on something like that. Um, and, uh, you know, we'd be looking at a level around 82 to $84. And that's a, just a guess uh, based on where this wave ends. You can see the structure zone here that uh, might provide a place of uh, support there in this region. Uh, so that's where I have, excuse me, that's where I have the bottom of A there. Uh, sorry about the yawning, guys. Uh, you'll, you'll learn pretty quick that the mornings are tough for me I'm, if I'm up trading all night. So, uh, yeah. Um, uh, let's see here. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking for an A wave to finish five ways, one, two, three, four, five, uh, five to the downside. Then we're going to get a uh, pullback here back to, uh, I don't know, somewhere 50% of that move. Uh, what would that be? Um, uh, if we came, if, if we came down here, 50% would put us around 90, 150 to 92 in that ballpark. Um, you know, 618 puts us at uh, 92. The 65%, the golden golden pocket there is uh, about, uh, excuse me, I said 62, I meant 92, 9250. So, yeah, it uh, looks like we might get a pullback uh, to uh, mid 90s there, uh, well, 92 or something like that, 91, uh, and then we'll have more downside. Most likely, that's what I'm looking at. Um, this is our first wave to the downside. Uh, it's looking like uh, Bitcoin wants to make a lower low. Uh, it looks like, uh, and I said the other day that it looks like Bitcoin wants to make a lower low. Um, and uh, the way this uh, wave is shaping up, we've got a one, two, three, four, five. It's a really, really, it's a really, really strong wave. It's, uh, it's, it's. We're bouncing right now on the six one eight. So this is uh, somewhere around a third wave. Um, it's a pretty strong wave. Here's my guess. Uh, my guess is that Bitcoin might come down and make a double bottom here or uh, a little bit of a lower low, go down to that $8,800 mark that we were looking at a long time ago. I don't know that to be a fact, guys. I really don't. But uh, it's just the way this wave looks. Unless we get a strong reversal right here. Uh, and if we do get a strong reversal here, that ABC is done and we're heading up. Um, but that wouldn't correlate with a, with a Litecoin ABC move. So uh, with looking that like litecoin needs uh, downside uh, strongly then um you know that would seem like that would imply that there's more downside for um bitcoin as well now the only other alternate count that i have for litecoin uh is that uh that this was actually the top of three um so this is actually a one two one two so this is actually one two and this is one, two, three, four, five of the third wave. Now we're coming down for the fourth wave, uh, and then we're going to go up for five. If that's the case, uh, we might not have a, a very long way to go here. Um, this might be a uh, A, B, and this is the C wave. Uh, that's another possibility to, to finish off this four wave. Um, and I'm watching this as a careful possibility. That's why I've been looking on the one-minute chart. Uh, to watch that. So that's another possibility that this is a, a you see three waves there. 
Um, but the only problem is there's it looks like five waves here, but uh, I don't know what to make of that right now. Uh, let's just uh, call it a B wave for now. And then this is one, two, three, four, five waves down to the downside. Um, we'd be uh, looking for this correction almost to be over. Uh, I don't like that, guys. I really don't. I really it, it would really seem to be need to come down here a lot stronger. Uh, that's a potential. So I want you to be aware of that. I just want you to understand that an alternate count, uh, if 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 Bitcoin uh, doesn't continue down and we get a reversal, then that's the kind of count we're looking at, or that's the kind of scenario we're looking at. We're looking at maybe this was a one-two even of a fifth wave, and that's a possibility. Um, I don't know how strong or likely a possibility, but that is a a possibility that this is a one wave followed by a. This is one followed or one followed by a two wave, and we're going to get three, four, five of a fifth wave, and that's going to put us up here a little higher, quite a bit higher as well. Uh, so yeah, I got a bearish count, a bullish count, and uh, the the only the problem is that uh, this looks like five waves. Well, it looks like three waves because I don't see a clear. There's no clear one. Is that the one right there? And the bit. This is Bitcoin now. Um, but it just it just looks like this is a this just needs to be an ABC for a two, but man it's making such a deep and hard two. I don't know if it's just market maker shenanigans or we're heading down bearish, and that that whole pump was just a, just a big giant fake out. Um, and I don't know how to get three waves out of that, um, unless this is uh, you know a three wave A B and a C. I, I that that's a very very poor. Uh, delineation. This looks more like five five clear motive waves. So the best I can come up with, guys, is we need three waves to the downside for Litecoin um, before we head on up, uh, and and we probably are going to head on up for uh, another big move. Uh, this uh, Bitcoin pump down is uh, could be just a fake out, um, and, uh, and we're going to be bottoming here. Maybe at this uh, maybe at this level right here. And then we have a reversal. It, it might bottom right here, but right now we've got FIB support. Uh, but we should have, be having a reversal here uh, off this low, and uh, and then we'll go up for uh, five more waves. A, a pretty strong wave. If that's the case, where would that take us? So if this is uh, a, a one, two, um, where would that take us? Well, that's a pretty deep two, but we'll, we'll count it there. One, two. It's going to take us up to the $11,000 mark for a third wave at least. So we're looking at $11,000 at least for a third wave. So yeah, we're, we're uh, pushing down pretty heavy right now, pretty strong. Um, and um, so if we don't reverse here and make another low, we, we, should, we should have a reversal off the next low if we don't get it, if we make a new low here. Um, this looks like a five waves complete one two three four five so I would I would bet that this is actually just gonna reverse here soon that's my call that's what I'm thinking is gonna happen uh, it's just right now everything's pushing really low um, so uh, yeah uh, there's um, yeah I, I think that's uh, that's all I'm gonna give you today guys uh, I just uh, the count is not clear uh, but you understand the scenarios let's just recap the scenarios for Litecoin um, for Litecoin, uh, this is the top of a one wave. We need uh, three waves to the downside. We're making currently making our A wave. Um, we'll have a B wave and a C wave coming down. Um, we're looking at the 82 to 84 dollar mark for a landing point. There uh, could go as low as about 81 dollars. Okay, so that there's a scenario. That's a bear. Uh, that's a, a pullback scenario with a with a move to the upside. Uh, I didn't give you a target there for the upside, so let me do that now. Uh, if we get um, an up, if we get a pullback down, let's just see, that would be one. If we get a pullback down here to, let's just say, 80, 8270 or something like that, that's going to put us up here in this region here of uh, either anywhere from 101 to 112. 
uh, depending on what kind of wave we're dealing with. If this is a ABC, most likely we're going to get uh, between 100 and 106. If this is a 1, 2, 3 wave, we're going to come up here to the $112, even possibly for this third wave up to 130. And we'll know better once this uh, wave completes and then we get a 1, 2 for the 3. So we're looking at uh, potential targets of anywhere from $100 to $130. And I know that's a wide range and it won't stay that way long. As soon as I get more information here, as soon as we get some more information, I'll be able to give you a better projection. So uh, I, I can just hear the naysayers, oh, so it might go up and it might go down. Yeah, of course, of course, but we're, we're projecting where it might go if it goes down and we're projecting where it might go if it goes up. So we're ready for the scenarios. Trading isn't about no, uh, Elliott Wave isn't about predicting exactly what's going to happen. It's about being ready for what's going to happen so we can make good trades. Uh, so uh, yeah, uh, any, if there's any idiots thinking about making some kind of comment, don't do that. Uh, just leave your comment to yourself and, and, and realize that uh, you need to understand what Elliott Wave is. You only look stupid when you make comments like that. Now, I haven't had any troll comments in a while, so I'm glad, glad about that. But that's just a preemptive strike against somebody that might want to do that. All right, so here are the scenarios. If this is a five wave A, we're going to have a three wave B, and then we're going to have a five wave C to follow that. And then it'll look something like this A, B, and C. Uh, that C wave should come up here to the 1276, $105, $106 in that area. Now, if it's not an ABC, but rather it's a reversal and we've got a one, two, Three, four, five. That's what we're going to look like. Look at for an, uh, for a one wave. Okay, this would be a big one wave. Now we could have an extended three, uh, like that. Uh, that's another potential, and make it all the way back up here to the 140 region. Um, that's another possibility as well. If this is a one, two, three. So those are the two possibilities. We'll have to wait and see what we get. Uh, how? What are we going to know? Well, we're going to. Once we get this pullback, if we get another, uh, if we get a pullback here to this uh, 82 to 81 dollar region, uh, that'll be very nice, and then you'll have an entry for uh, another wave. Uh, it may not go that low; it could go as short as 85 dollars um, to 87 dollars. So we just have to watch the the way the shape is. But this is uh, looking like five waves. We should have three waves, and so once we get the B wave, I'll be able to measure uh, where we're headed. Okay, well, there's your market update there. Uh, you know the scenarios for Bitcoin as well. Uh, looking for a reversal here off of this $9,200. If we don't get a reversal off $9,200, uh, then we're probably going to be heading down to um, the uh, next low. Um, did I, the next low, did I give you a target there for an, another low? I guessed, but I didn't measure it. Um, we should be looking for... It looks like maybe a double bottom here, about nine thousand eighty nine hundred. I don't. Uh, that's that's not measuring very well. Uh, oh, you know what? I didn't measure that correctly. That's why it's not measuring very well. Oh, sorry. Let me clear these fibs out of here and uh, miss stroke there. Excuse me. Um, let's try again here. We have an extended third. Um, yeah, it's still looking at maybe $8,800 there as a potential bottom uh, before reversal there. So uh, that may play out and that may correlate with a, with a, a Litecoin 2 wave. So we'll have to wait and see. Uh, until then, uh, you guys have a fantastic uh, Thursday. Don't forget Friday's coming. Uh, Friday's coming. So weekends are great. Trading weekend. Uh, a lot of time for Bit, uh, Bitcoin and Litecoin. So uh, get excited for the weekend. But uh, also just uh, don't don't be trading forever. Uh, spend some time with your family and take some time for yourself as well. All right. Uh, you guys have a fantastic day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, the com uh, share, share some love in the comment section, and uh, share the video. Uh, don't forget to uh, help me grow the channel. We've got 412 subscribers. That's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, until then, uh, see you later. Bye-bye.